All right, we're looking at one of the Shure inner ear monitoring systems. This is great for vocals. You can also run a band mix, you know, from a desk into this, and then it can send that to your headphones. So you're basically cutting down the overall noise of a gig to a bearable level, so you prevent tinnitus or tinnitus, as well as, uh, you know, loss of hearing. These are something that you see a lot of professionals use. They'd probably be using their higher-end Shure models, but that said... Um, you know, this is really quite good. Uh, it's got two inputs on the front, so you can have uh, either one or two uh, vocal inputs, mics, as you can see, or you can also just have a jack input. So if you've mixed a band or you're playing at a gig where, you know, there's a, a full mix, you can actually run that, that input in and then have that in your headphones, which is a, a great thing. Or you can use it pretty much just for your vocals if you're in a loud band you can you know reduce the overall volume by around 27 decibels or thereabouts depending on what earbuds you choose to use with this unit as well uh, it can uh, probably be more or less depending on on that it also comes with a lot of them um, this unit has several channels for memory I think seven or eight it's been a little while since I've used them and you select them just by clicking on here and then the number comes up there um, it has, yeah, as I said, two inputs and two levels here as well. So you can, you know, get the mic. Say you want to run a microphone through it. You can run the mic in and then out the back straight into your desk or PA system. And then control your input, which doesn't affect the output, just to your headphones, which is great because then you're not changing the mix at the front of house level. This just goes straight through. So anything you change here only affects the input signal for you not for the output on the back hope that makes some sense alright now on the other side we've got the uh, DC, the uh, AC input which says DC input but it's an AC to DC convert anyway it doesn't matter it's basically like you plug it into the wall there and there are your outputs here this is actually a mono device so if you've got a band mix that's stereo You'll hear it in two headphones, but it won't be split into stereo. I, I don't really feel that's a big important thing because ambience on stage will give you that feeling of stereo anyway. I, it didn't concern me much to uh, to have that, and generally any time I use this, I just use my vocals going straight through it and pretty much to block out a lot of the noise on stage, depending on who I'm playing with and where I'm playing. So. All right, let's look at the uh, let's look at the receiver. A small lightweight design has a good clip here. It, this is one clip that I really like because it's super tight and it's never once come loose. This is what I love about it. These are made in the USA as well, um, which usually is a sign of uh, quality with most most things. Uh, you've got your channel selection here. So as long as it matches to the unit, you won't have any problems. Up the top here, we've got a, a basically like a volume control. If it's off, you hear it click and it comes on. Now the good thing about this as well, um, it's got somewhat of a limiter built in. So if it, you know, if the say the input gain spiking, this unit will actually control that to some point. And so will this, so it stops, you know, really loud signals from hurting you in some ways. Um, it's probably best to not run this any louder than around 12 o'clock. If you have it flat out and you get a lot of noise for some reason, you're in trouble. So, you know, you probably don't want to do too much there. This is a UHF device from memory. It's not a digital like 2.4 gigahertz stuff like the Line 6. It works well. I've never had any issues with it so far. Um, I think the digital is a little better but um, yeah so far so good it's got a low and a high gain input on the side so you can see this mix in here if you know you can actually um, pretty much bypass that if you choose to and just run a cable straight in from a desk and then you know monitor it through your headphones uh, this is one of the uh, headphones here or earbuds sorry it's uh, a cool little thing here they got 
I've got the little soft rubber things on here. So I was saying before, it comes with a lot of different types of um, sizes and um, materials for using uh, within your ears. So I'll show you some of the others. You also get your, you know, your classic sort of um, squishy rubber polypropylene or whatever this stuff is um, and then that it just expands you know and you get all different sizes of those you also get some uh, really big black rubber ones like this which are super soft they're like silicon I guess um, and depending on what suits you you can cho choose between them um, this is another one it's more of a firm sort of rubber and then you can just plug them straight into the ends of your um, you know you pull the other one off and put this straight onto your earphone so it's, it's quite good and I think that's just about it but yeah you get this is just some of them but you get you know a whole bunch of different ones you can use you should probably replace the uh, polypropylene ones every now and then or the foam ones because uh, you know yuck at least you can wash these other ones and it comes with a, a little bag and it also comes with like a headphone case thing as well there's only one drawback to this unit and that's the power supply instead of using a like a kettle plug like your standard um, amplifier or rack unit style thing they've got a little you know small connector like this into a brick and then from the brick it's just awkward. They should have, shouldn't have done that, really. Maybe that's something they can look at in the future. But, I mean, it's been reliable. There's been no problems with the brick. It's just I don't like those kind of power supplies. I'd rather have, like, a mobile or cell phone charger-style um, unit or just anything other than having a brick. But, anyway, there it is. Hope that was helpful.